for centuries, this area has served as a thoroughfare from modern day travelers to pioneers to the area's many indigenous people. Seeing its first wheeled vehicles around 1856, this desert tower marks the location of the Mountain Springs Station. Originally just a stone house, it served as a store from 1862 to 1870. Ox teams navigated the 30% grade, bringing in supplies from the east. Then, in 1915, a wooden plank road ushered in the first motor vehicles. So, I decided to come up here to Desert View Tower with my family. Spend some time together. Bust out the grill and enjoy the super blue moon. The stone Desert View Tower began construction in 1922. This is the rare occasion where we have two historical markers on one site, two monuments. One to memorialize the Mountain Springs grade and what that meant to this area, and the other to memorialize the Desert View Tower. San Diego real estate developer and then owner of Hakumba, Bert Vaughn, anticipated this area becoming a major international port to Mexico. And with that, he built the tower and dedicated it to the pioneers, highway and railway workers who ultimately helped develop the area. You're not trying to uh, start your own YouTube channel, are you? Not hard. <laughs> When at Desert View Tower, take a walk through Boulder Park. There you'll find sculptures of animals and other figures. Boulder Park is directly adjacent to Desert View Tower and is sculpted into the local stone by Merle Radcliffe. Radcliffe made his sculptures over two years during the 1930s while unemployed. Both the tower and Boulder Park are considered to be works of folk art. Boulder Park. Please buy tickets at Tower. Enter at your own risk. Thank you. Fish. Mm -hmm. Big giant dog behind it. Hey. Snakey. Snake in the grass. A snakey and a fishy. I like the snake. Hi, fishy. So yeah, well see it's nice and cool in here now. So look at you can go this way. Or I can go back the other way. Do keep an eye out for critters though. that way. Hey, Mom. No, no, no. We'll just shoot the stairway. I don't have my wide angle lens. <laughs> Here's the Indian they speak of. Yeah, it helps when there is. I don't know, what do you think, Mom? Which way are we going? I have no idea. Oh, that scared me. Check it out, you can go this way. Well, it's just more, just kind of creep down around here. There's another cave this way, cave that way. That's pretty fun. This is pretty cool. And it's like at least five degrees cooler in these little 
pockets. That's yeah. What do you think, Mom? Cool. Mm, that about completes it. Doing what they can to keep this fun little place open. Keep this roadside attraction alive. Came out here to get a great view of the full moon. Enjoy the desert tower. Unfortunately, it closed a little early. But um, yeah, we were able to make our dinner. Get everybody fed. Everybody happy? <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's check out this moon. We're a special guest over here. He's very polite. Huh, huh, puppers? <laughs> Say, am I a camp dog? Yeah. I'm just looking for something. You guys got some food for me? You got some food for me? Oh, we have another visitor. Look at this beautiful guy. Yeah. Because just like human males, they like to show off. Don't you? Aren't you pretty boy? Well, that was kind of a bust. Came here hoping to give you a story about the desert tower. It was closed. Wanted to shoot the full moon from the summit, I think it's called Incapa Summit, up the Incapa grade from Desert Tower. Not gonna let me do that either. <laughs> we'll see where, uh, we'll see how this goes. But I'm having fun with my family, hanging out with my dad, my mom. Can't be too bad. Say I'm pretty lucky to have parents that are pretty active and outgoing like mine. And uh, lucky to have viewers like you to watch. I had originally called ahead and tried to make plans to, uh, well, they, they host a, a hip camp. Uh, I think there's like three, maybe five spots in this area uh, on hip camp. I believe that's one of the hip camp spots right down there. But I uh, just can't get enough information as to whether or not it were walk-in or RV friendly or van friendly, whatever the heck you want to call it. So we decided to come out here and you know, spend the evening grill. See if we can enjoy a beautiful moonrise. Should have planned better. Yeah, there it goes. You know, it'd be great as if I had uh, set up a tripod yeah. and gone uh, with. Because we all have time lapse on our cameras, we could have set one of these up on time lapse. Yeah. We have to so, hold it. You know, what do you guys think? Is it worth it? Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was too nice. <laughs> Full moon fever, baby. I still, I still